Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. This is going to cover astrology as well as your love life and who's coming towards you. So the first part will be astrology and the second part will be about your romantic love life, who's coming towards you, what the situation is going to be. And the date for this is going to be March 29th to April 11th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. Now, um, my members, I do want to let you guys know that the members only content is now up and available for you guys to watch. I have multiple things on there and I'm going to put some more things on there. So there's definitely a lot uh, that I've just put up on there. So, and some of you guys in the comments had asked me, how did you become a member? All you have to do is click the join button. It's on the YouTube and, uh, or it's in the description box. You'll see the membership part. And for those of you asked me in the comments, you're like, okay, how can I get in contact with you? You can get in contact with me going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And I want to let you guys know that I did post another video on JWZ Mysteries. Um, if you guys are interested in spooky stuff or mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. If you say hi to me over there, guys, I will definitely say hi to you. You know I read my comments, so I love hearing from you. All right, so first astrology, and with this message, I can't control what's gonna come out. So it's whatever comes out for this, and then it's gonna be about your romantic love life. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump over. Next time, guys, I will be on camera. It's just, I wanted to make sure I got these uh, bi-weeklies out to you guys. All right, so let's gonna have my Gemini's romantic, excuse me, astrology for March 29th to April 11th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we're gonna go one deck here. What's gonna happen with Gemini's astrology from March 29th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going to happen with Gemini's astrology for March 28th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we got Virgo, which is ruled by Mercury. We have Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. We have Aries, which is ruled by Mars. So let's talk about the potential so the houses that could be involved. Well, sixth house. 10th house, first house. So what is the sixth house? That has to do with healing, health and healing. It has to do with disputes, arguments. It has to do with small animals. It has to do with servants, okay? It also with the 10th house, that's Capricorn energy, that's to do with, now some astrologers believe the 10th house has to do with the father and others believe it's more the ninth house. So it just depends on what you're what your belief is on that. It's also to do with the workplace, uh, has to do with energy to work, success in business, nature of your work and your job. And then we got Aries, which is the first house, which obviously represents your physical body. It represents your soul, your birth, your ascendant, your personality, your mind, okay? And it has to do with starting something. Like think about one energy. What is one energy? It's like opportunity, it's like leadership, right? So let's go through it. So we got uh, Virgo talking about, so for me, just listening to my intuition here on this, you guys are definitely beating your enemies here, competition at work, because you are going for it. That's what I get the sense of. You're really strong and powerful, and you're able to overcome things. And this for me and my intuition also speaks of Looks like almost for me like a, a shape of a butterfly. That's how my intuition's interpreting this. So I get the sense that there's massive change for you guys. And also the other thing that I'm drawn to is this these lightning strikes. So I feel like something's gonna happen all of a sudden. And and then I hear you're gonna pounce on it. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, let's see what this is about. There's the strength card showing you are in a strong position. Four pentacles. And, oh wow, another very strong and powerful card here. 
There we go again with the cherry card energy. Okay, so let's get more information here. We got a commitment. This is definitely a work-related situation, okay, in this reading. Because obviously we're talking about 10th house Capricorn, and we also have this this willpower, this strength, this control, you guys are able to wield your power in the next couple weeks, which is allowing you to, for some of you, to save a situation, to hold on to a situation, because remember, the Four of Pentacles, we're talking about finance, has to do with saving a money or holding on to a stable situation. Fours are to do with stability and stableness. And it definitely looks like you're wielding, you're making things move in your direction. You're, you have things under control, that's for sure. We see there's a commitment here, and here you are, you're like standing proud there. You're in charge of things. Some of you guys may be taking on more of a role here. There may be an opportunity coming in. Yeah, for some of you, maybe to gain some more, uh, like being your own boss, or getting more authority here. Because it's like, you're like moving things around. You're able to have the confidence here. And we see even here, we go right across, right, with the, the kipper. It's seeing there's this commitment, this contract, and there's something official about this, a sense of authority. And we see you're receiving something. You're receiving something. Now, the kipper can talk about receiving an invitation. It can be seeing receiving some extra bonus or money. So you're receiving something of value. We can even see here, it's like almost like Christmas time here, right? There's a lot of gifts under this tree, so it's definitely exciting here. That's like very exciting energy. So I can see you're very strong in your positioning, and you're able to achieve a lot here because you are taking action. Because this is definitely, for me, a very movement-oriented car, but also Aries is a pioneer. Aries is a leader. So we see that you're taking a leadership role. You're pioneering something here. You're getting control of this. And as a result, you're receiving something of value here. Oh, that's interesting. Let's get some advice for you guys. Let's see, what deck do I want to use? Let's use the, the moon-oriented deck. The moonology deck. OK, so. Can I have some advice for my Geminis for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome when it comes to their astrology for March 29th to April 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Again, look at that. The Taurus energy is very stable. It's saying that, yep, yeah, your dreams have to be practical. You know, it has to be grounded in nature here. You have to have a plan here. So for like almost like a four of swords type of energy. So focus on what you want here, focus on what your dreams are, but plan. That makes sense actually with the Virgo energy. Um, Virgos are long-term planners. They like to know what's gonna happen in the future. And you know, they, they definitely, um, you know, really investigate, they really put the effort into that. They, they're strong like communicators and I get the sense also with this particular situation here that you really need to communicate what you want as well because we're talking about Mercury being the, the ruler of Virgo. Yeah, Spirit is saying look at the bigger picture. We got Sagittarius there, which for me it's, it's like a very, it's a fire sign. So it's definitely saying to me, from my intuition saying, you're gonna hit the target. You're gonna hit the target. But don't be negative about this. Release any negativity around this situation. Mm. So really plan things out, see the bigger picture, and release any negativity. Well, we're dealing with competition. We're struggling to overcome something, right? We do get frustrated, we can get jealous, we can get angry, you know, all those kinds of things can come into play. But Spirit is saying, no, release the negativity around this. Just be in that neutral space there. Yes, yeah, it says, take a time to breathe. So there's the Four of Pentacles saying, you'll be able to hold on to your vision. Step outside of your comfort zone, which that makes sense with the Aries energy, saying you're doing something pioneering. 
something unusual. North Node also talks about destiny. It's a time to give rather than take, so make sure the situation is an equal give and take, right? That everyone's putting their uh, same amount of effort into it. Show the world the real you. Don't be afraid to be you, to shy away from, don't, don't shy away from who you are just because, you know, there may be other people involved or some kind of collaboration here. Be you. Don't be afraid to be you. See, what did I tell you? That's exactly what I was feeling. Don't get frustrated, okay? Because sometimes so this, this situation is showing a fury climax approaches. So there's some things about this situation that make, make you angry, which as we're talking about Mars energy, there's a lot of passion around this. So be the real you, make sure this is an equal give and take, but don't feel like you're, you know, don't get frustrated or angry about this situation, right? Saying, release the negativity, step outside of your destiny, step outside of your, your comfort zone. No, it's not gonna come together the way you expect it to, so don't get frustrated about this, release the negativity around the situation. Yeah, saying, what do you have to release here? Stay in balance, and emotionally, there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna happen here, so. Even though you may feel at the time that something is set in stone, it's not set in stone. It's gonna come together for you. Okay, so let's move into your romantic love life, Gemini. All right, so what's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life for March 29th to April 11th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, we're gonna do three different decks here. What's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life for March 29th to April 11th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. So here's we're looking at using the Kipper cards for the clarity and then also my deck, the Aizen. So what's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life March 29th to April 11th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Also my darlings, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're starting with temperance there, I see. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. So we have two completion cards, they're ten energies. Okay, okay, we got the Lover's card. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, we have the Hangman energy. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, the influence is the Four of Cups. Who's coming towards you? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Hmm. And wow, we have the King of Wands as the advice. So, Gemini, who's coming towards you? Well, someone that you have chemistry with, that's for sure. With that Page of Wands energy. Someone who's been flirting with you. Could be an Aries, younger Aries sign. Could be younger than you, possibly. Doesn't have to be. But it is someone who is a bit flirty there with the Page of Wands energy. Your influence is you got a lot of offers here. You got a lot of opportunities in front of you, but you're just not sure if you want what's being offered here. So you're kind of sitting back and you're kind of looking at the situation as the influence. We see the King of Wands as the advice saying, well, you know what you, you want as far as chemistry and passion goes. And you have a lot of life experience around this, so you know how to make the best decision here when it comes to your chemistry and passion. We got the Temperance card here. So I get the sense though, you're not out of balance. Actually, you're a little bit more into balance here. The situation's pretty balanced with the, this. Uh, that's what I get the sense of from this particular card. I feel like emotionally you've brought yourself into balance. But there is some burdens and responsibilities because of money and finance and abundance, okay? Or for some of you guys, there's been this patient energy because you're dealing with a lot of responsibility. And Ten of Pentacles shows me that there is a long-term situation or something around the situation that involves money and finance. So let's get more information. Okay, giving to a commitment Okay, so there is a sense of receiving something when it comes to a commitment, engagement, or marriage, and concerns of a loss. Okay, let's get more clarity about that. So I want to be patient for things to come into balance. I have birds of responsibility, 
something is about to be accomplished or completed when it comes to family and long-term commitment. Giving to a marriage, taking that away. Okay, I want to heal from the past. I'm trying to be patient here because of potential new love connection. Okay, page, page of wands. We see the lovers, which talks about a relationship and potential new love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We see that there is good news when it comes to new love. There's massive changes here with the main person. And a sacrifice is going to have to be made here because there's some restrictions and boundaries here. I want to just get a little bit more information about this influence and stuff here. It's a new person, okay? So some of you guys, it's a new person, okay? This Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or some of you guys have a child with this person because we got the family card coming out, okay? It is somebody that you may have a child with, okay? Or somebody who may have a child. Or there's something about this situation maybe that's new, brand new, playful kind of energy, okay? And we see what the the influence is here. If someone is trying to get your attention, there's a lot of people trying to get your attention. So we see massive change for the main person. And we see there's these boundaries, restrictions. I almost get the sense of like, you're like, all right, I'm a little bit stuck in the middle here, and I'm not sure if I want to sacrifice a situation here. So let's go further. What's this, this relationship and massive change about? We see something to do with money and finance. There's somebody who's trying to give some advice here about a potential love connection. But it's like, I want to delay this situation. There's the hangman. I want to restrict this. I want to put my line in the sand. I'm a little bit cautious and defensive, that kind of energy. And we see here, the page of swords is coming out, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So it's like almost like you've got new perspective here about this situation. There's a situation here that's a little bit outside of your box. So you decide to get some advice. This is an older masculine energy. It could be a father energy or someone you see as like a, a fatherly energy or somebody who you see as like kind of like a king energy, okay? So this is like somebody you see as somebody has really good advice because you're worried and stressed about the situation. Okay, so far, let's see what we got here. I want to heal the situation. I've been patient here. There's a potential new love connection. We see money and finance has been a hindrance here, and you get some kind of good advice about delaying the situation and not to worry. To focus on your happiness, we see... But you're like, I don't know if I can be honest with you, okay? I want to be happy here. There's someone who feels really sad about this situation, about the delays and challenges here. I get the sense of person that's really into you, feels really sad. They're feeling sad and they feel like there's sad news, that you're giving them sad news. And that they want to fight for this and they want to defend their position with the Seven of Wands energy when it comes to this connection. Now I see, okay. They want to get your attention. There's concerns about missing an opportunity. You're at a crossroads about what to do. Let me see the influence. Yep, someone's missing you. There's the sad person there, the sad news, the, the absence is felt. This person has caused you a sense of confusion, the ones coming towards you. And we see that you really need clarity here about the advice here. So we see, I want to heal this situation. But unbalanced finances has been hindered your romantic love life. There's been some worry and concern. And it's like, I'm going to wait and see how things play out. Seven of Pentacles energy. You get some good advice. And you're like, maybe I can just be happy. There is this potential new love connection here. But it's like you feel like you should delay this because you're still at a crossroads about what to do. Okay. So you do have opportunities here. Plus possibly some of you Geminis have more than one. But let's take a look. Let's also see the bottom of the deck here. Yep, you're going to have to make a decision. So this is going to be the time you have to make this decision. You're getting communication. I'm single and available to pursue. They want to get some kind of knowledge. You're trying to make the best decision because you're trying to bring things into balance. We see there's going to be some communication here about someone from the past or some issues around the past. So there is a person who wants to give 
They want to, um, they really appreciate you. Um, possibly they might want to help you out with the giving card. Towards this massive change, we see there's some kind of good advice here about a commitment to engage your marriage and a main person, you guys, main person. It could be you or the love interest. And we see that there is this deceptions or someone's not talking about the fact that they feel like there's a loss here because of these restrictions and boundaries. And we see that they're, they're concerned because they feel sad about it. So this person's upset and sad. Because I get the sense that you're like, look, I have, I have things I have to, I have obligations I have to deal with here. And so for me, I have to deal with these obligations first. So we see the temperance card is coming out saying, okay, I want to be patient when it comes to this relationship. It looks like this is a little bit different, a little bit out of your wheelhouse, new ideas, new concepts, but there's burdens and responsibilities. Good news when it comes to love and a sense of happiness because there's, there is some great signs here around it. We see money, family, or abundance or long-term commitment. There's a stuck energy here. And someone wants to defend their position around this. They want to win you over. And they don't care who they have to fight to be with you. Because I get the sense this person's like, don't come against me about this. I want to be happy with Gemini. And we go to the numbers here, okay? Temperance is saying patience, relationship, opportunity, completion, good news, completion, completion, stuck energy, and someone's thinking about how to overcome that. Okay. So I know what the king energy, as far as your advice goes here, that you're going to be the one to have to make the decision, not the other person, it's you. So the ball is in your court when it comes to this situation. So we got, there is a person, wants your attention, they're missing you, okay? And they don't want to miss an opportunity with you, okay? Who's coming towards you? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, someone who's a flirty kind of energy, new person for some of you guys, or someone that has a child or something to do with like a playful, childish kind of energy, which is causing some kind of confusion in the connection. Okay. So continue to go further here. Your advice is you need to get clarity here. You have enough life experience, Gemini, when it comes to your chemistry and passion. And you can take a leadership role here in this situation and definitely there's success and love for you here, okay? But first you have to make sure that you're certain about it when it comes to what you want. I'm also gonna get some other advice here. Can I have some advice for Geminis? When it comes to their romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them, March 29th to April 11th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here. Here, if you've got the superpower, okay. You're stronger than you think. Don't let this person affect your ego. Listen to your intuition. Know that there's a bigger picture here. Give yourself some time to think about it. You have expertise around this, Gemini. You know what you're doing. Be patient. Let things play out. You have abundance coming in here because you're attractive. Take this victory. You deserve it. Don't have any preconditions because things are not going to come together the way you expect them to. Be impartial about this situation when it comes to this reprisal. That's pretty straightforward. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Obviously, you got some choices to make in the next couple of weeks. Um, I have the weeklies up and available for you guys to watch, and I should be up with a monthly soon for April, so you should definitely get a lot more information from that as well for the whole month of April. And my beautiful darlings, I do love reading my comments. Um, so if this resonates with you or you want to claim this message or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. And again, 
for my members, I do have more content that I put up on there, and there's a lot, I did put a lot of content on there, and there's more to come, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you can check out my second channel, GWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. I will see you guys another day or two. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.